walking to our hotel. It is already so much more calm here than it was in Luxor, so we are going to relax for a little. We got checked in and now we're down by the Nile. We don't really have plans today or anything. It's hot in Aswan and we got beer by the river. We've been chatting with this Faluka captain and he's actually really, really nice. He's what, 150? 150 for one hour. We didn't do a Feluca tour in Luxor just because everyone there was like so pushy. But yeah, here this guy was really nice and he was just chilling there and it's super fun. <laughs> the first time I was so scared that we were gonna hit those boys but apparently this is just what they do and they grab onto all the boats and then sing for tips a boat stopped at some mm. Nubian village we're going to check out and there's cats yeah. greeting us This man was just waiting at the entrance to the Nubian village and he is showing us around. He wanted us to take pictures with this baby crocodile, but there were also lots of like crocodile decorations everywhere. Also quite a few Airbnbs available right here in the Nubian village too. So 5,000 people live in here. Yeah. We bought a couple little souvenirs and he gave us this necklace for free. So now back for sunset. We started today with a really long tour down to Abu Simbel that we booked at our hotel last night. It was almost four hours each way, but it was probably one of the coolest temples we've seen ever. We are back in Aswan and we're just gonna walk around and see what we find. take a video before we ate but chicken and soup and some sauce and veggies and bread and salad and rice and two sodas and a water for two euros each we're going to check out some park that apparently used to be a private park of the king of egypt um but then they made it public so let's go running over and asked to take pictures with us 
and then they were showing us pictures of some other foreigner they met here in the park who they said he's from Pennsylvania which is crazy because I'm from Pennsylvania <laughs> there's a donkey in the middle of the road and everyone's just beeping crazy right left to the island for five each right. and it's a hundred yeah. degrees <laughs> we don't know what we're doing we're walking around the same Nubian village that we were in the other day but if you take the ferry across, it's like the normal entrance. You can just walk around the village. And like with the Falooka, it took us to where they had people like kind of waiting for the tourists. So we're gonna walk through the village here to the Aswan Museum. Aswan Museum now, which is actually full of a bunch of artifacts that they found when they were making the Aswan Dam. back at the same restaurant again <laughs> for three days we've been here and we've eaten here all three days since we found it and it's still really good so if you come to Aswan eat here this one. I guess if you've like looked into traveling Egypt at all you've seen the sleeper train from Cairo down to Luxor Aswan and like reverse Aswan up to Cairo which the sleeper train, like the one with a bed, is 80 euros per night, well, for the night per person. So if we're both getting the sleeper train, that's 160 euros just to get from Aswan to Cairo, which is crazy. Like this hotel room um, and most of the Airbnbs we've stayed in have been maybe like 20 euros a night max. So we did not really wanna spend 160 euros a night for the sleeper train, but there is another option that you can get the regular train and just like sleep in one of the seats. So we took the train from Luxor down here to Aswan, which was like three hours. And the seats are actually pretty big. And there were some people sleeping on the train from Cairo, like when we had got on. So we are gonna do that. So we're gonna go to the train station and get tickets for that one. And then we're only gonna spend, what, 15 to 30 euros total. And it's a seat instead of a bed, but way better than 160 euros. We just bought train tickets in the train station. Um, so we're taking the overnight train to Cairo at 6.10 p.m. to get there at like 7 a.m. <laughs> So like almost 13, 12, 13 hours, but it was 590 at the train station with oof, a bunch of snacks and a pizza. Checked our tickets and said this is our train. It's our train and there's food here. Hello. Yes, what are they for now? They mean the Addis coffee. So yeah, there's so many snacks right next to the train, which is good to know. 